Today we brought along the Brennick sisters, Louise and Kimberly, who won gold medals in judo at the Commonwealth Games. And they're here today to tell us about their experience of living in the village during the Games. So if you'd like to come in, I'll show you how we got on. Living in the Athletes' Village, how did you find it from your particular point of view as part of Team Scotland? Well, when we first came into the village and when you got shown down into your room, you could see the whole Scotland athletes and team were all going to be together, living next door to each other, and it was a mixture of sports. The, just Scotland was everywhere, Scotland flags were up. When you walked into your rooms, there were Scotland gifts there from you, whether it was from some of the schools or it was gifts that the Commonwealth Games were giving you. You didn't know what your room or your house was going to look like when you came in, so it was a wee bit of a surprise. It was good because you, you walked in, it was all different countries and different parts, so when you walked around you got to see what kind of different houses were like, so that was quite a good the interest to get into each house and see what was different about it. So, being Team Scotland, you get the best place in the village? Aye, so this yeah, is the best definitely. street. This, this is the, the best, street. best street and the best house. So whoever lives in this house will be really, really lucky. We're looking back, as I said, across where Team Scotland were, but obviously there was a lot of famous people came here during the course of the, the Games. Uh, can you tell us something about that? There were some South African countries down the, the bottom, which were like Zambia, and then New Zealand were round the corner as you, you, you come to the bottom of the, the path. Well, the very first house that you can see when we're looking out, um, this is where Kate, Prince Harry and Prince William all came through the house and Sir Chris Hoy and it was like they came through, had a wee look in the house and came out in the back garden and it was all the athletes were out like just chilling when they came out and they spoke to some of us and asked us how our sport was going and how, how we were liking the village and how we were competing and it was lovely. At the top end was like a, a crossover point where everybody had to come from all different directions. That's probably going to be the same way when kids are all leaving to go to school, they're all probably going to have to pass that certain way. You know Glasgow, you know this part of Glasgow. What do you think this whole village will mean to the community when it becomes housing, when people have moved in? I know if I was a kid moving in and I was to think of all the different sports or the different people that have, that have even just kind of walked past, I think I would be buzzing off that and feeling really, really good with that. Welcome back to the village. Uh, I'm sure you'll have noticed it's changed a wee bit since you were last here. This is the house that you, the house type that you're actually staying in during the games. So how does it feel coming back to the village uh, so long on? I was always excited to come back and see what the difference is for how we were living in it. It's always nice to see what the changes are and actually what people are going to be living in, like how the rooms and all that are straight out this time. Every time I think of a living room here, I just see three beds. That's what I think because that's where the coaches were in, in our house. But um, you come in here, it's, it looks massive. And you were saying about the, being able to open up into the living room itself? Yeah. You're ever having like your new year or a wee function, you've got your table where you can sit down or if you've got a long table it goes in, opens up into your living room and you can mingle while you're still cooking for people, you can still see them and talk to them and it's not a wall in your way. Now it's like all kitted out and, uh, and it looks like a lovely kitchen, it is nice. Whoever comes in here is lucky, we'll maybe visit them. <laughs> you're now here when it's houses, uh, how do you feel it now as, as a destination if you like in the east end of Glasgow? When we first came in, the athletes got to have the privilege of being in here and, and living and building the, the start of the legacy for the, the second project where the families are all going to, going to move in. And I think it will be a privilege to anybody that buys a house and, and lives in here. You're going to build your own family memories and on top of the memories that's already been established in 2014. And hopefully it inspires the kids to take up the sports as well and try and make their own legacy through been here. And of course they'll be able to, maybe to say this is a house the Enix sisters stayed in. Yeah, one so family will get to say that. So one family is going to be extra, extra lucky. <laughs> We're going to have a wee stamp of the Golden Sisters there. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, what we did today was we took the girls around the village to let them see the village as it's now became. It's now a village of a housing as opposed to a kind of dormitory where the girls stayed during the games. Um, it's been really good for them to see how the houses have actually shaped up now that they're not so bare and with all the planting and everything around about.
This development has been very important to City Legacy and the partners of City Legacy, ourselves Cruden, CCG, McTaggart & Mickle and WH Malcolm are all Scottish contractors, all with a reputation to protect and all very proud of delivering what has been a very successful Athletes Village for the Games and which is now going to be a very successful housing development for the future. So this is something that all the companies are very, very proud of, particularly when it was delivered at what was a very difficult time in, this, in the marketplace. So yes, we're, we're very proud of this development.